Welcome to another episode of Food Buffet Report. I'm Aaron. And I'm Bill. Thanks for joining us today. We are looking at a dessert section of a buffet that looks like it has been ransacked. Hey, I was going to say ransacked. Really? Oh, that's interesting. We didn't we didn't even talk about this beforehand as we never prepare for our shows as everybody knows. So that's what a nice coincidence that was. It does look like it's been ransacked though. It's a good I like that word too. Could you advertise a buffet like that? Join us on Sundays for all you can eat dessert buffet where you can ransack it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, let's take a look. There's one dessert that hasn't been really ransacked on the one side. Why? It's the least popular of the desserts. Why? I'm sorry, which which one? The one with the the white one with the raspberry lines all over it? Well, there's a lot of that one left over, but if you if you look closely, you will see that even though there's not much of that dessert missing, it has been taken. Pieces have been taken from it in a seemingly very aggressive way. Is that a spatula that's buried? What is that? Is that a spatula that's been that's fallen into the and been covered up? Yeah, maybe. Wow. So that tong is actually the tong that goes to the dessert there, the golden, the golden tray dessert. That's the golden tray dessert spatula. I mean tong and that spatula for the raspberry striped one is buried. Well, no, there's a set of tongs on the golden tray dessert, but they're facing the in the opposite it's direction. Set on the other side. Each side, there's a set. It's a dual-sided buffet. Yeah. So see the, see the tong that should be laying there on the golden tray, and it's with the white, with raspberry stripes on it, and the spatula is buried. Oh, yes. Yes, I see that now. But what about the little buns or biscuits to the left of that with no tongs or no spatula? How are people taking those? They probably lick their fingers and then press their sticky finger and it grabs it like that. Yeah. Like if you're going to eat a like if you want to eat a seed from a bagel, like a bagel seed that falls on your plate. You lick your finger like this, look, and then you get it and you can you use the wetness from your finger to get the seed. Would that be enough to get that? Kind of like how you can stick your whole tongue into a bucket of popcorn and it sticks to your, t all the popcorn sticks to your tongue. Yeah. yeah. Or you can take some of that icing right there. Look, see it? Yeah. Get a little bit of that on your finger, just a dab and you scooch on over. To the, where are they? To the little, those things. And you, you press it on there. You yeah. got it. You just need to, just need to stand there long enough to get it from there to your plate. Now to the left of that, do you see those pies? Those pies have been ransacked. I don't think there is a complete piece of pie left, but there certainly are a lot of pie remnants crust some people like just the pie crust they don't even care about the filling part they want only the crust so some people be like wow this is great i didn't want the other shit. i just want the crust anyways it's amazing that somebody would have the audacity to come along and take only the parts of the pie that they want no take an entire piece of pie take it back to your table and dissect it there yeah what's with the lightsaber there it looks like a lightsaber in a fish tank underneath yeah. the buffet. Is that, is, how can you get it? Can you reach underneath? Is it underneath that shelf? Like that, how would you get that saber, lightsaber? I don't know, but that would be pretty cool if they had a, if that was a fish tank and they just kept lobsters under the desserts to th make people feel threatened when they come by and decide to ransack the table. Oh, maybe it is a fish tank. I think it's just a granite top. The desserts are elevated and there's a granite top and the, the, the dessert, the platform that the desserts are on, 
the lights are underneath shining down on the granite and creating a reflection. And I would have to say that that is a very, very poor design of a piece of buffet furniture. Thankfully, I make buffet furniture better. You know, the buffets, let's be kind to them because they are coming back from the pandemic. And we're here, we're advocates of buffets. Yeah, but the pandemic isn't over. This ransacked dessert station says that it is. <laughs> so it's bad. It's over. This is how this is how a dessert station buffet should look. Yeah. Destroyed. It's not like there isn't any anything there to eat. There's definitely something there to choose from. There's a lot less crumbs on the granite than I would think, though. I would expect a lot more crumbs and pieces of pie crust and things to be on there, unless maybe they have somebody on the very far back there. Look, crumbs. See them on the edge? I think that someone comes along and wipes this counter down and removes the crumbs. Do you think they sweep them on the floor or do they cup their hand and Oh, they probably have a, a a little a little bin that they put on the side so that they don't have to put it in their hand, but also so they don't have to push it onto the floor. Is the bin attached to their like Yeah. Bottom? They just Yeah. Yeah. It's a job. That's a job in itself. Well, this was a great show. We are gonna do it all again next week. We put out an episode every Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday, like clockwork. I haven't missed a Sunday. We've been doing this show for 10 years. I haven't missed one single Sunday. So a lot of you go, oh, stupid show. But every Sunday, you try to do it. Because we're happy to have all of you here. And it's great that you've made it this far. Every single day, we have a random buffet on Twitter. So make sure you follow us there too. Don't miss a day. Isn't Twitter that platform where if you if 24 hours, it vanishes? No. That's Snapchat. Well, then there's no incentive for them to come back every day. They can just come back whenever and go look at all 365 in one day. You ever think of that? Every, like, every day, like, oh, my God, if I don't watch it today, I won't be able to see it. It's not true. They will see it. They can just look at it the day. How long does it take to look at it anyways? It just go like this. That's it. They're f***ing done. There's nothing else to do. So they've looked at it. How long is that going to take? Honestly, if they looked at every single one, could they do it? Could they look at all 365 of them in 20 minutes? Probably. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay, well, um, make sure you check our Twitter once a year. Uh, we post a buffet every day. <laughs> see, that doesn't make sense. Good show. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next Sunday.